Well, howdy fucking do. Yes, it's your man, the man with the master plan, the prehistoric coxman with the unusually long trunk. Yes, it's Willie Mammoth back once again, dropping grenades on the haters. Today, we're going to be exploring one of my favorite weapons in Battlefield 1, the fragmentation grenade. You see, Willie is a set it and forget it type of guy, and there is no greater feeling in life than eviscerating a digital stranger and hearing the lamentations of their women. The variation you're seeing me lob right here is the anti-tank grenade, which was basically just an improvised explosive device used to defeat heavily armored targets. In Battlefield 1, it's quite humiliating to be killed by a grenade because it shows you are not paying attention to your surroundings. Whether walking to the grocery store or rushing a rooftop with a cluster of improvised high explosives, it's always important to be aware of your surroundings. And remember, if you see something, say something. Actually, pause. Fuck that. Keep your mic unplugged. No one wants to hear your bullshit. Besides, the only person that talks in Battlefield 1 is that 13-year-old kid from Corpus Christi, Texas, whose prepubescent voice sounds remarkably similar to that of a transvestite. This little boy is just starting to learn about jerking off. He masturbated into a sock and his mother found it on his bedroom floor. When she inquired about this sock, this boy told her he had a runny nose and couldn't find any tissues. He probably had to pretend he had a cold all week and got to stay home from school and play some more Battlefield 1 because this boy's an asshole, but he's also a gamer and does think fast on his feet. Okay, I admit it. That story was about me, but that was way back in the day before PS4, so I just had to sit home and jerk off some more. Thinking about posting a shitty comment? Are you sitting there pecking away at your keyboard feeling lonely and frustrated? Take a step back and imagine what you look like sitting there right now. You're confused. You're scared. The whole world is rushing past you and you're not happy with the way your life turned out. I'm sorry, life isn't always fair. Successful and confident people don't spew hatred at random strangers on the internet. Your childish and insecure comments are painfully transparent to those who are at peace with themselves and the world around them. Willie be a Zen is a blazed Buddha, so until next time, get on my level.